Welcome to Oil for the Journey. My name is Jenny and I'll be your journey reader for today. We're following along with the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth Bible Reading Plan and today's reading comes from Psalms 51 through 54 and we're actually also going to be reading out of the Tree of Life version of the scriptures. So let's pray and then we'll get started. Heavenly Father, we come before you now, God, with grateful hearts, Lord, to be able to open up your word. Um, Father, we just pray as we um, read through these Psalms, God, that, um, that they would just penetrate our hearts, Lord, that we would hear the message that you have for us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So here we go. Psalm 51. For the music director, a Psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came to him after he went to Bathsheba. Be gracious to me, O God, according to your mercy, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was born in iniquity and in sin when my mother conceived me. Surely you desire truth in the inner being. Make me know wisdom inwardly. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness so the bones you crushed may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence. Take not your Ruach HaKodesh from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressor, transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, God of my salvation. Then my tongue will sing for joy of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you would not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it, nor be pleased by burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. In your favor, do good to Zion. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in righteous sacrifices and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Psalm 52. From the music director, a contemplative song of David, when Doeg the Edomite came and reported to Saul, telling him, David went to Ahimelech's house. Why do you brag about evil, mighty men? God's loving kindness is every day. Your tongues plot destruction like a, ra a sharp razor working deceit. Your love, you love evil instead of good, lying rather than speaking right. Selah. You love only de devouring words, treacherous tongue. God will put you down forever and snatch you, rip you out of your tent and uproot you from the land of the living. Selah. Then the righteous will see and fear and laugh at him. Here is the man who did not make God his stronghold. Instead, he trusted in his great riches and was strong in his evil desire. But I, I am like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's loving kindness forever and ever. I will praise you forever for what you have done. I will hope in your name for it is good in the presence of your Kedoshim. Psalm 53. For the music director on Mahalath, a contemplative song of David. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt, commit vile injustice. There is no one who does good. God looks down from the heavens on the children of men to see if anyone understands who seeks after God. All have turned aside. Together they have become corrupt. There's no one who does good. No, not even one. Will the evildoers never learn? They consume my people as they would eat bread and never call upon God. There they are in great dread where there is nothing to fear. For God has scattered the bones of those besieging you. You have put them to shame, for God has rejected them. Who will give salvation for Israel out of Zion? When God restores his captive people, let Jacob rejoice. Let Israel be glad. Psalm 54. For the music director on stringed instruments, a contemplative song of David, when the Ziphites came and said to Saul, Is not David hiding himself among us? O oh God, Save me by your name. Vindicate me by your might. 
Oh God, hear my prayer. Listen to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me. Violent men seek after my soul. They do not set God before them. Selah. Surely God is my helper. My Lord is the supporter of my soul. Let evil return to my foes. Silence them with your truth. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, Adonai, for it is good. For he has delivered me from all trouble, and my eye has gazed upon my enemies. So just some beautiful, beautiful words from David, um, crying out and seeking God and, and um, coming before God, even in the midst of knowing that he was doing something he shouldn't have been doing. He was still falling before God and, and praying for forgiveness and um, falling before God when he was being um, pursued by enemies um, and trusting in God to protect him and to um, do away with his enemies. So um, just really beautiful. The Psalms are just beautiful to me. Anyway, let's pray and um, we'll close. Lord, we just thank you for these um, words from your servant, David. Um, God, and, and we um, are blessed to be able to have these words because, God, we see David in so many different situations, Lord, and, and every time, God, even though they may start out with him um, just crying out and, um, and confused or scared or whatever, Lord, they always seem to end up, he always brings it back around and closes, Lord, um, just with praise of you and, and, um, and, and submission and, and um, trust, God, in you. Lord, I pray that we would be the same. God, that even in the midst of um, just what seems like constant corruption and craziness in this world, Lord, that we would put our faith and our trust in you, God, that we know that you, um, you are with us, Lord, you never leave us um, or forsake us, God, um, and that we can put our, our whole trust, our, all of our trust in you, Lord, um, even when things just um, look crazy and we feel like we're surrounded by our enemies. Um, so, Lord, we just thank you for the reading of your word. We thank you for the opportunity to gather here. And, um, Father, I just I pray over um, each person that's listening, Lord, um, that wherever they are and whatever they're dealing with, Lord, that they would just be reminded right now in this moment, God, that you are there, um, that you are with them, Lord, that you're um, never, never so far away from us that you um, can't put your hands right on us, Lord, that you can't reach us wherever we are. God, and we thank you for that, Lord. Um, just, um, God, we just pray you'd be blessed in all that we do and all that we say, Father, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. So thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.